Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. And, ooh, last episode was interesting, wasn't it? Now let's go on to Watcher Ascension Level 11, fewer potion slots. Let's go. It's not going to be much different than 10, just one less potion slot, which... Eh, I guess it is, like, harder, but it's not that big of a deal. And uh, I will immediately go for max HP. <laughs> Now I'll go for upgraded card, and you know what? I'm gonna do the uh, unlogic, <laughs> illogical thing, uh, which is I'm gonna upgrade the defend. Normally, you would go with vigilance or eruption. It depends on what you want to do. The reason I'm doing a defend there is I didn't want to upgrade eruption. Um, I might get pressure point again early, or I might get alpha. Uh, highly doubted, but it's possible. So I am basically keeping my options open for now. Double rest, double lead, but the rests are before the elites. Other options are not existent basically. Unless I want to go for the super elite, for the one elite, but make it a super elite, which isn't worth it unless you're planning on going to Act 4, which we still haven't with the Watcher. We're gonna do it one day. I believe we haven't with the Watcher. We might have. One once upon a time, a long time ago. Oh my god, this this does not have good pathing. Okay, let's go this way, I suppose. We'll go for the double elite potentially. Right, we can kill this. Yes, it means using the miracle. It's fine. We should get maybe double attack. Nope. Ah, I did. Cool. If I didn't, that would have been bad. Uh, skill potion. Good to have, I suppose. I uh, no, not gonna pick up any of these for now. I'm gonna hold off for a little bit. Hopefully. Okay, there. That's uh, not a bad start. Are you kidding me? Now I get Vigilance? I want to use it, but I don't want to waste the Merkle. The reason I want to use it is because, you know, Eruption Mer Vigilance Calm is really good. Okay, I'm going to use it now, even though three of my strikes are here. I'm going to choose to fully defend, because I know I can't play Eruption this turn, because, again, three of my strikes were there. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the one damage. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's not going to kill. Oh. Really? You're you, non-stop attacking, really? I need to invest at least one attack, so what I'm gonna do is this. This actually- I actually didn't need to because Eruption Double Strike was gonna kill. Oh, never mind. It's fine. We didn't take any damage, so it's fine. Yep, that's why I was keeping my options open. Because if I get the opportunity to pick- okay, Potion Belt. Instantly negating the uh, Ascension Level 11 uh, debuff. Which is fine. I'd rather get Potion Belt than Vajra. To be perfectly honest, uh, just because, you know, of the fact that if you get Vajra and if you're going to remove all of your attacks, yeah, it's sort of a dead relic, isn't it? Like, it's it's there, but it doesn't do anything. Attack Potion, sure, might be helpful. So at this point, we're just going to go and invest in uh, pr pressure points again. Oh boy, wow, uh, this is interesting. I can I can kill the front one, but that'll mean taking 28 damage. Actually, it's a little bit of a risk. Tantrum is perfect here, isn't it? No, Sands of Time is better. Uh, I, I can kill the back one or the front one, unless... Nope, that's not gonna help. Uh... I guess I can gain 6 block. <laughs> uh, that's not gonna help at all. Because I have energy to play Eruption, sure, I'll have one energy left. I can play the Strike, play the Merkle, play the Strike, and Sands of Time is free. Okay, I guess I'm gonna get the 6 block here, and I will kill... Generally, it's probably better if I kill the back one. Just because of the fact that... Uh, uh, he does more damage, so I'm saving some here. Actually, what I can do here is maybe I'll draw my good- Yeah, sure, I'll do it, I'll do it. Save some HP, I'll, I can kill next turn. It's absolutely fine. There it is. Absolutely worth it. Definitely. Okay, there's like water, definitely picking that up. First upgrade, uh, pressure point, then it's like water, then it's probably vigilance because I'll definitely need to play it. But I won't get that opportunity until uh, here or here, depending on where I go. 
Because if I don't want to go for the double elite, I might go here. But I'll probably go here still because it has one qu extra question mark. Guardian Fire, that's going to be interesting. Definitely erupting here. Okay, so... Sorry. <laughs> Forgot the miracle. Splitting the damage there should be fine. Uh, I have the attack potion, which I think I would rather save. Okay, I can kill one of them. Nope, not saving the attack potion in that case. That's 14, that's more than enough, but I'll take the overkill. There it is. There's the second one. Okay, so now we're upgrading the second one. This actually puts us in a really good position against the Guardian. I could go for the shop and for this lead. I have enough gold. I don't mean a card removal. Oh, and a war paint coming. Oh, did I miss something? No, I did not. Okay. <laughs> I thought I missed gold or something. Okay, so this is perfect. Oh my god, Obamori, no! No, I wanted you. You're actually helpful. I sorry about that. There was some light coming into my room. Alright, at this point we do not need eruption, we do not need the strike, so uh, time for them to leave. And yeah, I guess we're going for 108. Uh, no vigilance here, but you know what? I will play... I was about to say uh, two defense, but realized there's no point. Oh, having so many upgraded defense this early is insane. Plus the double upgraded pressure point, plus the like water. Yeah, it just makes a huge difference. Third one. You know what? It worked last time. It's probably not going to work this time. We had a lot of energy last time. No, not this fight. Anything but this fight. Okay, first turn just set up. I have to do it. It's, uh, <laughs> you have to do it. Okay, at this point I'm maybe regretting removing the eruption. Maybe. Okay, I gotta do this. Well, I mean, I didn't really have much of a choice. Using the strike there was not preferable. Uh, okay, I actually want to see how this reacts. So, oh, it does trigger. Okay, that's good to know. I probably had already known this. Uh, but, you know, just in case. If I hit this, it's still not going to be in lethal range. So I'm going to hit this. So this means I can remove their artifacting and still do damage to the other sentries. That's actually good. Uh, could have been a little bit better. I should have gone for the front one, I'm an idiot. Should have split my damage that all physical attacks go to the one that I'm actually not going to be removing the artifacting on, but now it's too late. Um, I will place this here just so I can kill both of these, make my life a little bit easier. Again, this fight can be kind of brutal. I just can be. I mean, good thing we have like water. If we didn't, we'd be on way lower HP here. It has saved us a lot of HP at this point. Okay, no need to play the defend there. It's not going to do anything. Okay, perfect. Singing bowl, yes! Why am I guessing so hard? Early bowl of singing. That's all I got to say. Oh, this is going to be 7 HP loss. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Uh, card removal is way more important than the 7 HP, and at this point I will probably end up resting even against- Oh boy, if I survive, I'll probably end up resting. I- who's- these are doing the most damage, but I can't really do anything against them, so I have to do this here. It is very important that I play like Water and Vigilance, just so I can have that extra block, because I want to survive this fight. Because this fight is, uh, the best fight in the game, uh, to get early without any AoE. Okay. It's probably less block. Should have just blocked. Oh, yeah, I'm weakened. I'm not frail. Okay. Yeah, I should have blocked. That's fine. Okay, you know what? I need to kill the spike slime. Even though at this point, we're all fine. So normally I wouldn't rest because we have triple pressure point. Um, Guardian fight is easier with pressure point. But I don't want to risk it. We have a good thing going here. Psst. Bowl of Singing, we got War Paint as well, which means early upgrade, which is insane. And we have Triple Pressure Point, which, for those of you that have been following me for a while, should know that I prefer Double, but I'm currently experimenting. Just because uh, the thinner the deck, the better the Double is. Triple, like, tends to overload you a little bit. Can I make him switch here? Sorry, Transform. I would need to do, yeah, I can't, but this means not playing Vigilance. Which is... Oh, well, I mean, I can always use the Stance Potion if I need to, just to get that extra block. But I won't need to for now, and I might get it back. I might get Vigilance now. 
Yeah, there it is. Gotta play double pressure point here. There's no option, even if it means taking a little bit of damage. That's just too much damage. That is just too much damage, and this is why pressure point is really good. Uh, but at the same time, it has its drawbacks, as per usual. Enemies with artifacting, like for example, if the second boss fight is Bronze Automaton, I'm in a really bad spot. Even though I have three pressure points, it's still Bronze Automaton. Yes, holy water. Yes. Would have preferred Slave Caller. But, actually, no, would I? No, this will allow me to set up a little bit better than Slave Caller would, at least on normal fights. Um, but I would as well like Slave Caller. So, triple rest, single lead. New shop. Ah, early shop. Yeah, definitely taking that. Okay, so this is our path. And then we're just going straight down the middle, more or less. I'd probably go here because it has the extra question mark, but that's about it. Otherwise, it's just straight down the middle. Okay, early pressure point, good. Uh, because we have three, the more we thin down the deck, the more often we're going to see the pressure points. This is what I was uh, uh, talking about when I was saying uh, it overloads you when you have three. Uh, just because of the uh, the fact that you'll be drawing at least two-ish, let's say two-ish per turn, because I don't want to do the math, because I'm really good at math. I can do the math, it's just going to take time and I don't want to do it. Uh, but you're going to be drawing a lot, because this deck is going to be with three less cards here. I will pick up Evaluate if I get it, so that's gonna thicken up the deck by, like, one card-ish. Uh, maybe a second, like, Water, which will, again, thicken up the deck only temporarily. All right, so here I'm willing to use all three of them. This is what I said, overloading the deck. So if you have only three energy, even if you have one Merkle, that's just eight block, if you have an upgraded defense in hand. Uh, so this is, a, this is why, generally, I dislike three to pick up three. But... With holy water here, I think it just is a no-brainer. I mean, yeah, we got it after, but I'm definitely gonna keep the pressure points here. There's, there's just no question about it. We, we should be good mostly. If I can get, especially if I can get evaluate, that's just, that's just gonna make things well a lot easier for us. Now you show up. Now you show up. Now you show up. What are you doing here? <laughs> uh, this is actually really good medical kit. So the other problem with pressure point, well, in general, when doing something with a thinner deck is if something adds burns into your deck or wounds, and this is actually going to help out, so I'm definitely getting it. Would I have gotten it over card removal? Yes. Absolutely, definitely over card removal. It's more worth it. And so I'm not going to place one on the back one yet. There's no point. But I will next time around, because it's just going to kill. Which is not going to be yet. Eh, sure, that's fine. At least I set up my like water. I really need to upgrade both Vigilance and like water. So that's probably going to be priority for me now. Okay, so you're not dead yet. Now you are. Okay, you're, I'll, I'll attack you. And... There it is. Couldn't kill there, so... Might as well not take any damage. Oh, we're doing so much damage! Oh, it's lovely! Aaron, I'm sorry, but this is just... I've always said that this is a great relic, but it's better if you can get it on Act 1. Like, it's insanely good if you get it on Act If you get it on Act 3, it's like... Sure, like... 6 to 10 max HP. Sure. It's absolutely fine. But... I mean, you can still do some trickery if you haven't seen Ori. Uh, choose no. We don't need to choose. I know there could be evaluate, but if there isn't evaluate there, I have to choose a card. Ah, oh, I need to upgrade the third pressure point. Oh, I said like water and vigilance are priority. We should be able to upgrade them. What's the boss fight? Collector is oh wing boots. What now? Nice. That could allow me to do some trickery on the third floor. Uh, basically allowing me to skip all elites, which would... Oh, well, it depends on the boss fight, really. But it would... White Beast Statue. Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna complain. That White Beast Statue is great. I like White Beast Statue. Especially if you have a lot of potion slots. Okay, this is, uh, one of the elites I was thinking about when, uh, I was picking up Medical Kit. Yeah, because the wounds, uh, can overwhelm you relatively easily. 
Alright, definitely playing this here. In fact, because I don't want to take as much damage, I'm going to play that as well. I'm still going to take some, that is entirely true. But not as much. And playing the last of the defense here, because it's very important that I stack up pressure point as much as possible. Now I can just play one per turn and just focus on defense, that is entirely true. Uh, but you need to get it up to a certain point. Whenever you scry, yeah, golden eye. Golden eye is, uh, it's golden eye. That's all I'm going to say. Didn't lose much HP there. I'm, that's that is just an insane fight that we just did. The book of stabbing on high ascension, and I took four damage. Uh, yes. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit more difficult. I'm gonna place pressure point on the sentry here on the front, just one, and afterwards we're going straight up for the guardian here. Uh, I will in fact even use the fear potion. The fear potion is absolutely worthless to us. We just needed to remove artifacting. That is it. Playing like water here. And I need to play double defense. Too bad I don't have an Ancient Potion. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to call this back. It would have... Uh, actually, that would have probably been better for the Collector fight. I'm going to kill the Sentry here. Just make sure I'm fully defended. I could, so I did. Okay, no point in playing the Strike. There's no point in removing the Dazes. The Dazes exhaust. The medical Kit is there mostly for burns and for wounds. Um, and there it is, dead. Okay, I I'm very surprised that fight could have gone horrible. Uh, study is something I could... Uh, pick up as well, but I would rather have Evaluate. I have my reasons for it. Uh, this can overwhelm you as well, and it can make you overdraw horribly. At the same time though, it will be extra card draws. Oh my god, I'm, I'm debating. No, no, I'm gonna stick to the plan. I'm gonna go Evaluate because Evaluate is a safe bet. Uh, I have not done this with Study, so yeah. Okay, good. We actually have a decent setup here. So I'm just going to go for my safe bet for something I know, because I don't want to risk this. It's not worth it. And uh, I'll invest this in the Cultist. Cultist is dead in uh, two pressure points on the Chosen. And a single strike, of course, which I'm definitely willing to use here. Uh, 12 block, sure, there it is. Yeah, that's a lot of dazes, but he's dead as soon as I draw one pressure point. If I draw one pressure point, there it is. Could have drawn a bunch of dazes. Speed Potion, insane, max HP here. We're just going to be taking max HP until I see Evaluate. Free card upgrade. Well, I don't need to upgrade anything here anymore, or here, because I'm not keeping these. Ooh. The thing is, they'll act for boss with pressure point. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to go. I'm going to do it for now. No, I shouldn't have, because I'm not going to go for a super lead on Act 3. That's not happening. Wow, uh, no setup whatsoever. Okay, thank you for that. Uh, sh sure. That's probably the worst that could have that could have happened because now I'm gonna get yeah this. Okay, so definitely going into calm here just so I can get at least some block. Two on the collector should be fine, I hope. And then we're gonna go a couple on the torch heads just because I want to prioritize killing them. One on you. One on you. Uh, I'm gonna play double defense here. Actually, should I even play the Vigilance? I'm not fine in terms of, I should have played that before. Yeah, okay, you know what, I'm gonna take the damage here. Come on. Okay, I can defend here, so one pressure point on the Collector, and next turn at least one of the Torch Heads dies. Uh, another good Relic that we... Turnip? Turnip uh, is really good if we can get it somehow. Okay, this is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Now, now it's just rushing down the collector at this point. And am I willing to use the speed potion here? No, there's no point. I am uh, fully defended here. Well, not fully defended, but I will survive. And he's dead next turn. Because I'm extremely likely to draw a pressure point because I have three and I have a 12 card deck. Well... Not nah, really a 12 card deck, actually less. We don't need anything of these. Yes, I know that there's establishment. It's not really a 12 card deck because this gets removed. Uh, so, and this gets removed, so it's actually a 10 card deck. Uh, Velvet Choker is a yes and a no. Because I have a lot of Miracle plus the bottled Miracle, I don't think I want it. Violet Lotus is pointless, I will not be exiting Calm. Sacred Bark is the only logical option here. Which would mean, yeah, 4 Miracles and 10 decks. If I can get an Ancient Potion, this, I believe, guarantees that I can defeat the boss, yeah. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here, is I'm just gonna pick the best path. 
I can do triple uh, rest, plate shop, early shop, and no elites, and get to the boss fight. Which is, I believe, exactly what I want. So it's going to involve one bit, one wing boot. That's it, just one. The other thing I can do... Where should I use my other wing boots? I can use one on this rest if I need to. And the second one to jump back to this rest. Just to make sure, you know, if I, if I need safety. Yeah, that, that, that might be a choice. I'm just going to keep it for safety. You don't need to use the wing boots if you don't have to. Um, but I should have probably started off with the middle one, but that's going to confuse me more, so yeah, back when it is. It's just for safety most of the time that I use it. Like, I can plan around- oh boy, I'm going to have to use this here. Actually, I'm going to be resting soon. Uh, relatively soon. I mean, we don't know what's in the question marks. You know what, I'm just going to defend normally here. It's kind of bad, they're all syncing up again. Uh, that's horrible, that is a lot of damage, and there's nothing much I can do about it. Unless, again, I use the speed potion, which I specifically want to save uh, for the uh, time meter fight. Okay, and they are all dead. There it is, but I lost a lot of HP there. There's a dex potion as well, which... Ooh, yes! I did... I did say I wasn't going to pick up anything but about... Okay, shop before shop, sure. Uh, do, I guess don't mind if I do. There it is. Oh, potion, ancient potion. No ancient potion. Oh well, there might be one in the next shop. Upgrade all your... No, no, no. I don't have... I... No. Fight a boss. Yeah, sure. For a relic. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bad one. That is a really bad one for me to fight. Yeah, because of that. So here, I'm going to be playing both of these and the defend. There was no point in the speed potion there. I was going to get only 10 block out of... <laughs> yeah, only 10 block out of the speed potion. Those are actually fine on defense. Right, there it is. And I'm actually fully defended, but yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay, it's the first turn that, that was the most important for me not to take damage on. Because afterwards, we have several free turns in which we are definitely going to kill the Hexaghost here. There it is. There, you see? It, it's just the free, the first turn that actually scares me, and we got Pocket Watch out of that, which was not worth it. I guess the Stance Potion, maybe, and the 2 max HP, but that's about it. So I'm probably going to end up resting here. Uh, we'll see what this fight is. If it's kind of horrible, I'll teleport here to rest and here to upgrade. Actually, wait a minute. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it goes along. But yeah, that's that's the plan for now. Okay, Exploder needs to go down first. I am not fully defended. You know what? Yeah, I'm willing to do this. For one HP, sure, why not? Okay, Exploder needs to die. Quickly, preferably. Preferably, come on. Well, I should get two pressure points now. Yeah, there it is. And like water. So, I don't need to use the two pressure... Uh, do I have an attack? No, I don't have an attack. So, I need to use all three pressure points, which is absolutely fine by me. Yeah, that's how it's going to work. Well, do I really need to use this? I mean, I will. Come on, I just need an Ancient Potion. Just a single Ancient Potion and we're all good. Makes the final boss fight insanely easy. Yeah, when you have 14 decks, yeah, any boss fight is easy. So long as you have a defend. And you don't do something stupid like pick up a card now. Uh, oh my god, 10 max HP, but I would rather card Uh, Actually, yeah, I do have a strike still left. I do want to remove it. Oh, that's pointless. I keep thinking that... Uh, this relic, because I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm not going to, uh, is somehow associated with Sacred Bark, so it affects potions, so I always hover over it just to check. Especially when you have something like Sacred Bark and White Bee Statue. All right, I'm going to just card go here, and we're going to move on. Uh, yeah, the 10 max HP would have been nice, but... Okay, resting? Or not resting? I don't know what the next fight is. I have to upgrade just like water, which is not that big of a deal, so I'm just going to rest here. Yeah, just for safety. I would rather be safe than sorry. Mm, okay, well, I don't have a physical attack, so that's kind of bad. Um, 
but granted it uh, might have been worse, I suppose. I will need a shop probably after this fight, unless somehow I manage to kill it before it decides to, uh, you know. Oh my. What now? Uh, that is, that is a lot of damage and I'm vulnerable. Okay, well, yeah, I'm definitely going to the next rest stop. I'm going to take the damage and rest to the next rest stop. So the plan is I will just go here normally and then I'm going to like teleport back over here. Sorry, I can't over there, but I can over here. And then we'll see what I'll do here uh, with the winged boots. And afterwards, when I go to this shop, I'm going to go over here. So yeah, that's the plan. Uh, I'll use double defense here. I'll, I don't want to use the speed potion because I'm really hopeful that I'll get an ancient one. Oh my, what? I gotta use the miracle one. Oh, never mind. Good thing we managed to do that. Essence of Steel might actually be way more helpful than that. No, we don't need we don't need the fourth one. We're we are fine. I mean, this is technically more than max HP. You know what? I, I'm happy to do it. I mean, I just have one card to upgrade, and I'll definitely do it over here. Ancient tea set? Yeah. I mean, not bad. There it is! Our entire deck is fully upgraded. All of our, uh, what is it, 10 cards? I, I won't be able to pick up the Ancient Potion here if it is here. Because, yeah, I don't have enough money. It's gonna be, like, 50. And my voice is breaking! Ugh. Wait, wait, what? Oh, right! These are on the same parallel. Oops, well, that's fine. I don't, I don't have anything to do there anyway, so... Uh, yes, I am skipping the Elite. Uh, that, that was probably a bad idea. It's not like this is a better fight for me. And it's starting off with the Constriction Great. Great. This is a little bit RNG. Uh, it uh, This fight can start without constricting you. I've, I've started noticing recently. But yeah, most of the time it will start off with Constriction. Please, I have a White Bee Statue. Please drop an Ancient Potion. Just make my boss fight the easiest thing there is in the universe. Come on. Bottle Miracle. Oh, I just need to be careful not to pick up any cards and we're fine. Uh, Potion Seller? Nope, of course not. Oh no, please no, please no, please no. Oh, Evaluate, nice. Can I have that? Okay, I don't want that. No, that's Pain. That's Vault, I don't want that. This this is gonna be Evaluate. Nope, never mind. Well, looked out there. Come on, last chance, game. Last chance. Drop me an Ancient Potion here. Drop it. Just just once. Um, I'm, I'm not willing to take damage here for now. I mean, if I can kill the Exploder, the rest is going to be relatively easy, so. And that is the Exploder. Well, I still have one more turn. I'm not I'm not going to draw a Pressure Point, though, so I have to use one on the Exploder. Wait a minute. Why? No, no, I don't. No, I don't. Why did I say that? Oh my, I thought it was on 30, on 23 HP for some reason. Just like in the last fight. Okay, that's sort of good. Well, all the days are going to disappear at least. Yeah, these ones are randomly attacking and they don't do that much damage, so I'm, I'm fine with that. And everybody's dead. Oh my. Well, nope. Nope. It didn't drop what I wanted. Now, deal form, um can be helpful, but the thing is though, I don't have the card draw to support it, so... Not going to. Well, four decks is still good. It's actually really good. Normally, I'd be happy with two. But yeah, so setting up is gonna be the harder part of this. Actually, I'm fine here, right? Yeah, I'm fine. So I don't need to play any more cards. It's just by the time I set up. Once I set up though, this enemy's just gone. It's... I'm not gonna say gonna be an easy fight. That's not gonna happen. Um, but oh, we have plate armor. We have uh, oh my four decks. We have two like waters play. That is just insane. I just realized how much block we're getting at the end of the turn. So uh, at this point, me doing math uh, on how much block I'm gonna get at the end of the turn is not gonna happen. I'm just gonna wing it because I really don't want to do the math. And uh, I'm not going to say it's going to be an easy fight, and here, in fact, I might take a lot of damage because I'm willing to play double pressure point. 
Okay, I'm gonna do some math. Uh, it's 22 currently. So I need to play at least one defend. Okay, so it's one defend, one pressure point. Uh, which are we gonna do? Quick maths. Uh, okay, so triple pressure point here is definitely something I'm playing. He's going to try and purge, but if I can get a single pressure point next turn, uh, we should be fine. How much? I'm fine on block, I'm fine on block. Yeah, there it is. Just a single pressure point, that's it, he dies, and there's a big likelihood that I will get a pressure point, and I didn't. Ah, oh, draw reduction, I had draw reduction. Ugh. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. This, this could have been perfected, it's pro it probably won't be now. Oh no, that's yeah, because I need to start from the, from the ground up. Okay, how many- I can play enough cards here to play triple pressure point and a single defend, which is enough to defend me. The problem is next turn, do I want to leave it only two cards being played, or do I want to play them this turn? And I will choose to play them this turn, just so I can play uh, more cards. That is... Oh, uh, well, that is a lot of damage. Um, okay, I'm gonna need more than one block at this point if I wanna... Technically, I shouldn't care about perfecting... Just pointing that out there. Uh, since the only thing that matters is winning here. And there it is. Perfected on Ascension 11. Wow, two days in a row. Would you look at that? Pressure point working out? Hmm. Yeah. What is that? Who would have thought about it? Hmm. That my favorite build is actually working. Yeah. There it is. First try even. Wow, two days in a row. Something's happening. Something is happening and I don't know what it is. Does it scare me? No. Kind of like it. Now let's get to Ascension 15 in the next four days. And that's in the next, sorry, not four days because tomorrow we have modded. Uh, in the next four normal Slay the Spar Ascension runs, and that'll be amazing. For now, though, I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Slay the Spire, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.